Well, we do have Gallows and Anderson returning to WWE. They debuted on the show tonight, and it is a post-Vince McMahon era if uh, he's going back to drop that Never title. Well, you know, I mean, I'm, you know, they, they had the commitment. I mean, I guess if it was Vince, well, you know what, if... Well, they don't have a t- you know they don't have a title though. It was because when Andrade or not Andrade Alberto uh, was AAA champion, um, but they had him win the U.S. title and they wanted him to go back and drop it. And of course, WWE would not let him do it. Um, but norm yeah normally um, they're not um, they're not yeah with Vince. I don't think they really wanted people going back. But it wasn't hard and fast. There are there were plenty of guys who got signed who were allowed to work out their notice if they insisted on it. And I'm, and I'm going to guess that Anderson probably insisted on it just to be, you know, I mean, they gave him the championship and he's left them before. And it's probably just good business. And, you know, so that's that. You know, I mean, who knows? Maybe they'll pull him. But uh, my gut is. The way the way everything went down, and the fact that they announced the card um, today that it was an agreement that's been worked out, and that uh, Anderson will come back and and drop the championship, um, you know, or maybe even well, I would say probably drop the championship. I don't know that they would have him uh, go back and forth and work for both groups, but uh, who knows. We also have the return of Brock Lesnar on Raw. He'll be feuding with Bobby Lashley. Yeah, they're probably going to be wrestling at the uh, Riyadh show. Um, so, that, you know, he comes back for Saudi Arabia, so it made sense. Um, and, uh, you know, the story there, of course, is that they had uh, the first match they had, Bobby Lashley won, even though it was a lot of interference. So Brock does kind of have, you know, Brock can go to get his win back, and Bobby Lashley is no longer U.S. champion. Seth Rollins is, so Brock doesn't have to win a championship. So that's that looks like uh so it looks like logan paul and roman reigns and brock lesnar and bobby lashley is uh maybe the top two matches on that show but certainly two of the you know reigns is obviously the top match and perhaps this is the number two match so sir logan coming back yeah yeah with the viking raiders yeah they did that was already um teased on smackdown on friday And um, I know Eric was injured, so I don't know exactly when they'll be back, but it feels like it's imminent because they already started pushing it now. I mean, if it was going to be like in two months. Well, she actually did that that, uh, video with them like two months back, but it it was just nothing. She just happened to be there. They used her however it worked. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So, yeah, she's she's coming back. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know what's... I don't know what the status is for all the guys that left um, Impact. You know, it was uh, Matt Taven, uh, Mike Bennett, Maria Canellis, Vincent, and Mia Yim. And, you know, Mia Yim, obviously, her her husband is in A.W. Keith Lee. And, uh, you know, Paul Levesque is trying to get everybody back that he had before. They got fired when he didn't have power. And she would fit into that category. Um I know WWE has interest in Taven. Um, I would think that also Taven, Bennett, Maria could go to New Japan because they have history there. I don't know about AEW, you know, but obviously um, if there's something going on with Ring of Honor, they could go there, you know, because they were Ring of Honor people. So um, they may all have, um, and Maria also is uh, trying to start her own women's wrestling company. So it, those things could go a lot of different ways. So, um, but Vincent was, um, at backstage at the show tonight with, um, Bill Carr, Dutch. So, um, so obviously there's some interest in, at some level in, in those two as a tag team in WWE or maybe for NXT or whatever. So, um, but yeah, they all left, they all finished up with Impact on, um, Saturday night. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work. 
working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts, and also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com, 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.